So, Cressida, we have show business news now, no doubt. <laughs> the uh, raw podcasting talent represented by Meghan Markle is coming into question. <laughs> <laughs> Meghan Markle labelled not a great talent by top Hollywood agent after Spotify deal ends. So Jeremy Zimmer, the chief executive or uh, officer of, of United Talent Agency, has come out with these really catty remarks. He hasn't just let it... it, it he's yeah. not going down uh, without a without a. He catty... didn't broker the deal or anything. He's I don't not... think so, no. no. Well, um, I don't know. I haven't... I'll be honest, I'm not, I'm not a great Meghan yeah, Markle fan. I haven't been step. listening to all the episodes. Archetypes. Um, he, archetypes, that's it. He says, turns out Meghan Markle was not a great audio talent or necessarily any kind of talent. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, no, he didn't. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's just so unnecessary, isn't it? And lots of people are criticising him. And uh, he said, just because you're famous doesn't make you great at something. Um, which is I think amazing. he's making a valid it's... wider point. I mean, you could say whether or not he should kick her while she's down, but she did somehow manage to con... 20 million out of Spotify, 100 yeah. million out of Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Million yes. they were and supposed she was to provide hilarious in South Park. Right. I that. <laughs> yeah, that was true. They got their money's worth there. Well, yeah, in fact, a Spotify executive, Bill Simmons, uh, criticised the pair, uh, branding them effing grifters. Yeah. So, Which yeah, is the show I would watch. Yeah. I mean, that, <laughs> yeah. absolutely, you know. Beatling about on little chopper bikes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, as well. A lot of people are, are slamming them. Uh, Tim Dillon, the comedian, said he was at a Hollywood party and everybody was getting their phones out to compare cringy messages they'd received from Meghan oh, Markle, really? trying to like inveigle her way into, yeah. into projects and things. I mean, I saw the list of the women she had on. I don't know why she called it archetypes. She was supposed to be talking about stereotypes was what mm. she meant, wasn't it? Yeah. It's, the word it's, archetypes is not a synonym for stereotypes. Not it's really. actually it's not a bad thing, archetypes. It's, it's, like, it's like a useful way of talking about drama and literature. And yeah. yeah, that's like Camille Parley's sexual personas. Yeah, like archetypes. exactly, not, yeah. Not people misunderstand. Because yeah, her son exactly. is called Archie and, she, <laughs> and she's a moron. <laughs> So that's why... <laughs> Look, she's not a moron, she's lazy. Um, apparently, she was surprised by the work required to finish entertainment projects. Yeah. So well, they... we've all done that. Going, yeah, I'll write, an Ed... I'll write a new Edinburgh show. Oh, my God. What have I done? Was... That's true, though, isn't it? You get a, a series commission oh, on the radio, yeah. and they're like, oh, no. Yeah, never for $20 million, though. No, exactly. I would be... Imagine, imagine how many times you could hire Dan Evans for $20 million. <laughs>